Hi guys, okay, well we've had to put some fish on hold um, because I had to pick up some rescue fish. There's one in there. There's one swimming around at the back there. I do believe they're dwarf cichlids. I'm not sure what they are. Um, the conditions they were in were terrible. Um, I've lowered the pH and the hardness on this substantially on this tank which is unfortunately having an affair effect on the uh, other fish at the moment um, we did have um, an issue with the filter it was slightly leaking so I've dealt with that um, they're still okay these guys will be okay they will all be moved over to the Tetra the, the 100 litre and then the 240 we're going to go with these the Rams are doing great um, they're actually starting to colour up well They've got some nice colours on these, let me get a bit closer to them, there you go. Excellent looking fish. Always a bit nosy. As you can see, doing alright. Let's see that one, there he is. Don't know if you can see him in there. So what I've done is, as per... Um, a suggestion I've actually put some more leaves in here to lower it a bit more I'm also cutting it with RO water again um, to bring about down the hardness of this water my water here is terribly hard but I've got it down to 6.8 and I would imagine by tomorrow it'd be about 6.5 6.2 which is what I'm sort of aiming for um, there he is, you see that one there? So if anyone can tell me what these guys are, I believe it's a breeding pair, if that helps. He's a good looking fish. The other one's got a lot of colour up there, look, he keeps sticking his nose out. I'm going to try and get some more footage, I'm hoping he comes out when we feed. And I'll get a better picture of him, get some more footage of that. Um, everything else is doing really well in here actually um, it's I believe that this here is a sword but look at the way that root system has gone it's gone underneath the cave there which is quite cool um, got some new leaves going on but there are some more fish coming for this tank um, that's why I'm sort of desperately lowering I mean it's obviously taking a week to lower um, the pH is down um, I'm not doing it all in one go I wouldn't suggest anyone doing that all in one go I'm leaving some of the old leaves in there for the time being um, there you go it's that, I don't know if you can see that guy get out of the way play very cool looking fish now there's two of them as I say I believe one's in there when he comes out I'll get some good footage of him Obviously they're a bit timid in there at the moment. It took me quite a while to acclim uh, um, acclimate them to this tank. And that's, you know, you know what I'm like. I leave nature to its own and I clean it. Um, this will have a full clean tomorrow again. Um, I do leave the debris, as you know. It gives them something to think about. This is all debris from the peat balls that I use as well. See, they don't seem too bothered by it I'll say that though, he's got some lovely colours on him so that's that's the one, there's one of them so that's your update for today on this one I will be, if I can get some better footage I will put that up as well just because you know it doesn't do it justice in this but they are doing really well these fish um, I've heard that a tapa leaves or catapa leaves or whatever you want to call them will help lower the pH subtly and give important tannins to the water which as you can see I'm still getting them to full there's lots of debris in there for that as well um, 
so I've, I've asked the people not to send out the fish just yet until I get I didn't realise I was going to end up with rescue fish so that was quite a new one um, but they do need a delicate balance on these so I am cutting the water with RO ok guys if I get any more footage I will post it because that is a good looking fish in there typical hide away from the camera but you have a good one take care guys